Are you ready? It's sing-along time. Holy Spirit. Holy, ha, ha, holy Spirit. Holy, ha, ha, holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, live in me. Live in me. Holy Spirit. Holy, ha, ha, holy Spirit. Holy, ha, ha, holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, lead the way. Holy Spirit. My name is Dewan, and I'm so happy to see you. This month, we've been talking about how the Holy Spirit helps us to pray, to love, and to share the good news of Jesus. And the big idea this month is the Holy Spirit helps us. In story time today, we're going to talk about how the Holy Spirit helps us to share and care for others. But before we go to story time, let's play a game. So, in this game, I'm gonna show you a picture. And I want you to shout out what the picture is, and then I want you to tell me who you're gonna share with. You got it? Okay, let's try it. What? This! Do you know? Shout it out, let me hear! Yes, it's a toy! Okay. Who are you gonna share the toy with? <laughs> I think they would like it if you shared the toy with them too. Okay, let's do it again. What is this? I can't hear you, shout it out. Yes, it's food. Okay, who are you gonna share your food with? <laughs> I think they would love to share it with you too. Okay, let's do one more. You ready? 
What is this? I know it's a little tricky, right? What are they doing? It's kids planting a tree. Okay, so who do you like to share trees and nature with? Yes, I think that would be nice. You know what, my friends? I think you are good sharers. And it's fun to share and care for others. In today's Bible story, we're going to hear about Jesus' friends, the disciples, and how they share with others. Let's go to story time. Story time. Hello, friends. Welcome back to story time. Today, we're reading a story about choosing the seven helpers. Many people became followers of Jesus. They were called his disciples. In fact, the church grew and grew and grew. All the people of the church shared everything that they had, including food. There were people that really depended on getting a share of food from the church to survive. Pretty soon, they began to argue about the food. Some of them weren't getting enough. Some people were getting more than others. The first 12 disciples of Jesus met together. They said, our job is to tell everyone about Jesus. We need to pray and ask God to help us pick some people who have the Holy Spirit living in them. They could help us share the food fairly. Everyone liked this good idea. The disciples prayed. Then they chose seven people to help share the food. There was Stephen, Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The people prayed for these seven helpers. They prayed that God would help them to be kind and fair as they shared the food with everyone. Guess what happened? With the help of the Holy Spirit, these seven people were awesome food sharers. Everyone had what they needed. At the same time, the 12 disciples were able to keep telling others about Jesus. More and more people became followers of Jesus and the church kept growing. Wow, what a cool story. We're headed to activity time now. Hope you guys have a lot of fun. Activity time! Didn't you love that story? And guess what? I have a surprise for you. I invited my friend Willem to do an activity with us. Hi, Duan. Hi, friends. Hi, Willow. Did you enjoy the story? Yes, I did. It was all about sharing food, and we love food. So we're going to do a game about food. Oh, that sounds great. We've got some bowls and some spoons. So go find a bowl, or if you can't, use an imaginary bowl. OK, what we're going to do is we're going to pretend like we're filling up these bowls with food, and then we're going to share it with everybody. All right, now that our bowls are nice and full, let's share to someone on the side. Okay. All right, here, Mr. Monkey. Here you go, Mr. Teddy. Okay, I think you're done. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun. Let's refill our bowls. Okay. Let's share with someone in front. <gasps> Mr. Frog, eat up. Come on, Mr. Froggy, this is really good. <laughs> Are you done? I think he's had enough. All right, let's go back. Ah! All right, let's fill up one more time. Okay. All right, now who can we share with? We can share with each other. Here you go, Duan. Thank you. Thank you. Let's eat. Okay. With a spoon. Yes. Mmm, this is so delicious. And it's so good to share with others. Let's go to Kivers. Kivers. Hey, friends. Are you ready to learn the Kivers? It goes like this. The Holy Spirit will help you and always be with you. John 14, 16. All right, are we ready to add some actions? For this, 
we're going to be touching our head, our shoulders, our waist, knees, and toes. All right, are you ready to add some words? The Holy Spirit will help you and always be with you. Now, open your hands up like a book for John 14, 16. Great job. Are we ready to try it again? The Holy Spirit will help you and always be with you. John 14, 16. You guys did so good. But you know what? Since the Holy Spirit helps us, instead of saying you, we could say our name. So my name's Paige, so I'm gonna say that. The Holy Spirit will help Paige and always be with Paige. John 14, 16. That was so much fun. Now you should try it with your name. So like I said, my name was Paige. Maybe if your name's Sarah, you'll say Sarah. Or if your name's Thomas, you would say Thomas. Are you ready? The Holy Spirit will help. Now you say your name. And always be with, say your name again. John 14, 16. You guys did so, so good. Now let's join Duan for prayer time. Prayer time. It's almost time to say goodbye, but before we do, may I pray with you? How about today we put our hands out, like we're giving God a great big hug, and let's look up. Are you ready? Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for your Holy Spirit. And can your Holy Spirit please help us to share with others? Help us to remember that we can always ask you for help. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. It was so good spending time with you today, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye.